Let's get ready for Monday Mortgage Minute with your hosts, Tom McNamara and Bruce Woodburn. All right, Monday. Monday, Monday, Monday. Don't you love Mondays? I do. I do. And you know what? I got to say this right now. I know we're, we're local Florida boys. Did you see the Lake Mary Little League game? Incredible. Unbelievable. Incredible. I don't even kids. watch baseball, but boy, I'll tell you what, I was so proud of those young men. They look so young though, don't they? They're 12. They're, they're 12 and they're still they're very mature. Oh my they're God. very disciplined and they're they're they were so empathetic when that, that team, coach is incredible too. What listening the way that he talks to them and motivates them and lets them know that they're all winners. They had already won the game before they went into it. Yeah. I was like this guy should be a motivational speaker. He's so impressive. For sure, for sure. Yeah. What a what a fa what a fabulous thing for for our Lake country Mary. and Florida and Lake Mary. Right? Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. I love it. So, uh, so, so hey man, I noticed something. I want to I want to run something by you real quick. Sure. Right? I noticed something when I logged into my bank this morning. Right. Oh boy. No, I know. Right. So I had noticed it a while back, you know, they're advertising CD rates, right? So like a year ago, I don't do CDs, but you know, it's, it's a, a for, those, for those that do. Yeah. So, so I noticed that oh, a year ago, right? Rates on CDs were, let's say if you did a three month, it was 4%. If you did a six month, it was 4.25. And if you did a, a one year, it was four and a half, right? Right. So obviously they want you to lock your money in for a longer period of time. So they incentivize you. That's right. Today, when I logged in, I noticed exactly the opposite, right? It's like, we'll give you more interest for a short term, right? And then less interest. I think, you know, it was like four and a half, four and a quarter and four, right? Right. Um, it, to go to a 12 month. So obviously they're, they're wanting you to now not lock it in for so long, right? Now, clearly okay. that to me that I'm, I'm a simple guy. That just tells me they don't want your money as long because they don't want to give you the big interest because they expect the prime rate to drop. Well, that is that is exactly right. But what that's called is an inverted yield curve. So the yield for short term money is greater than long term money because they do anticipate that rates will drop. Mm -hmm. You and I, you and I have been telling our listeners that for a long time, but that doesn't mean that it's not a call to action. But when an inverted yield happens, that you are getting a, a greater return on a short-term investment than a long-term investment. Very unusual times, but they have happened in the past. But sure. it is an indicator that the market makers know that we're going to start seeing better interest rates in the future. All right. So that, yeah. So I saw that. And then I remember the headlines from last week was that um, not only is the Fed indicating that there's likely going to be a drop, but the, a lot of the market makers are indicating they're not going to expect a quarter point. They're predicting it could be a half point. What do you think of that? Well, I, I think there's a good chance. There's a 70% chance it'll be a half a point. There's a 30% chance it'll be a quarter a point. Here's the thing. If they don't drop it a half a point, you're going to see rates go up. More because different. it's already built into it. Right, Listen, right. Yeah, everybody... Right. And here's for all of you listening right now, whether you're a consumer or you're a real estate agent, when the Fed makes the announcement, do not think that your interest rates are going to drop. It's already built in. The right. market makers have already anticipated this. Now, again, if the market makers are anticipating a half a point drop because it's a greater percentage that that's what's going to happen, but it only is a quarter, you might see interest rates actually go up a tad. But if they came in and did a half a point, don't expect things to change. It's already built into the market. We do have another Fed meeting coming up after that. That right. will probably be a quarter a point for that one. And I think that that is a lot of hope for our future. So what it tells me is that should people wait to get in the market right now or should they go in and jump into the market right now and take what's available and then look at refinancing later? Well, there's a pro and con to both of those now, isn't Absolutely. it? Absolutely. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, so right now, I mean, like I've, uh, I, I will say our inventory is way up, right? Way up. Um, well, we now have more inventory than we've had since 
the recession. Mm -hmm. So we are up to 11,158 11, homes on the market as of uh, July of this year. Uh, that's in, uh, that's in, that's from Stellar MLS. That is from the Orlando regional realtor market. Okay. So okay. It's, yeah, not, yeah. Stel yeah. it's not stellar. It's not as big of a picture, There's but, a, yeah. but it is a pretty good indication of what we've got on the market, which tells us that homes are sitting on the market for longer. Mm -hmm. Well, you know what? It's, it's almost twice as many. It's actually very close to twice as many. Well, as, we are 39 days on the market last year. We're 55 days on the market this year. Mm -hmm. So we are, we are definitely up, you know, by around 15 extra days on the market. So it is, it is something to, to, to be concerned about if you're a seller, but if you're a buyer, that's a buying opportunity well, because you, I mean, I just got, you know, I just got a, I got a buyer locked into a property over the weekend that, um, well, last weekend that was uh, on the market for almost six months. They were about to take it off and just rent it, you know, and um, we swooped in there. And now, you know, I, I won't tell you that the original list price of 480 was the right price. It was probably too high, but we swooped in and got it for not only did we get it for 430, but we actually got them 10 grand in uh seller concessions and the seller paid my commissions and kind so like the way things used to be isn't it yeah and so you know this buyer I mean, they're going to be like five or six grand out of pocket to move into a almost half million dollar house you know i mean you can't get into a rental for that right yeah no, not not at that not at that price of a house that's for yeah. sure first so, first month in security deposit is going to chew up all that money Absolutely. So, you know, so I, I think, you know, the message is right. That if you're ready to buy, buy. Sellers are not, working deals, man. You can are. get a deal right now. So stop sitting on the sidelines waiting for rates to drop. Listen, refinances are cheap. We will do refinance with no lender fees for all of our clients. It's just, it's going to be an easy process. And if you're a veteran, you're entitled to a rate reduction refi, FHA, you're entitled to a streamlined refi. So listen, get in, negotiate a deal, choose a realtor like Tom, and he'll help you negotiate that deal. And um, believe me, now is the time to do it. So the pro is on buying now is you're going to get a better, you're going to be able to negotiate a better deal on your home. The cons are, is that you might have to refinance down the future. That's, That's those are your pros and your cons. So if you look at it, well, and, and listen, in this area, the median home is up 2.6%. Okay. Mm -hmm. That's almost our 3% average. Your average home is up 5.6%, almost 6%. Yep. So that tells me that home prices are still on the increase, but sellers are more motivated. But I do think that, that, I think that sellers have already started reducing their prices because they realize they're not going to get that top dollar that they got. But when interest rates drop back into the fives, respectively, you're going to start seeing those prices go back up again. So now is a window of opportunity, but we tell people that and they still look at it and they're like, ah, I'm going to wait for things to drop a little bit. Well, well, you know, I think you still have a lot of people, Bruce, that are out there with the mindset that a crash is inevitable. And, you know, I mean, I'm not going to tell you that it's impossible for a crash to happen, but I think the likelihood is very slim. I think it's very slim and we've always got, you know, those, uh, conspiracy theorists that listen to things like that, that it's just false information. It's not going to happen. You can't tell me that you have inflation and you're going to see a price reduction. Right. You can't tell. Do you believe that we are in inflation? If the answer is yes, mm -hmm. which I don't think anybody can deny that, then you can't look at it and go, well, things are going to get cheaper. Well, <laughs> building material is not going to get cheaper. No. Labor is not cheaper. No. So how do you expect that things are going to drop? I think that what's happening is the resale prices are settling and builders are reducing prices because they're settling. They're not getting those extreme profits that they thought they were. So I don't think we're dropping in price. I think we're dropping in seller expectation. Absolutely. Absolutely. And in the, in the words of the immortal Andy Brown, the market is always perfect.
It is. <laughs> Bruce, always a pleasure, man. Thanks for the education. And uh, we're going to have to uh, set up a special for next week for the uh, for Labor Day, right? Absolutely. We have to do something special for Labor Day. And um, we, uh, we're we grateful that all of you could join us today. I hope this was an educational process for you. If you have questions for Tom or I, whether you are in our field or out of our field, we're always there to help you. You can watch this on Spotify, iHeartRadio, our YouTube channel. You can pick up my radio show on uh, Bruce Woodburn, the Lone Ranger YouTube channel, or you can always check me out on my website and it's got all my radio shows. So you're welcome to listen to them. I love having listeners call in and throw in their two cents worth. So we're always happy to help. Awesome. Bruce, you have a